Welcome to Last Minute Arts and Crafts with Miss M. And I'm here to show you today how to make a special Mother's Day card. It's an easy DIY. So for starters, materials you would need, an array of construction paper. You can either use crayons, your colored pencils, your markers. Make sure you have your handy dandy scissors, a good pair too. A ruler for all of those who are really sticklers and like me, kind of like a perfectionist. All right. Um, you're going to need popsicle sticks also. If you need tape, staples, something, a, gula, a, a, a rule of guide to make those circles, perfect circles. And either your Elmer's glue or your glue stick would be fine. Nice sharpened pencil and a Sharpie, your best friend. Okay, so let's get started. I'm excited. So it doesn't matter. I mean, the larger you want to make your card or the smaller, you just keep cutting it down. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half next. Oh. Okay. Give it a nice crease. Okay, and so I'm going to use this side as my front here. And, um, you know, be as creative as you want. I mean, like I said, you can use crayons, color pencils, markers. I'm going to use the color pencils today. That's my choice. <clears throat> and I kind of want to start out, and you can make it as colorful as you want. You can stick to one color. Um, I think today I'm going to use an array of colors. Or no, I'm going to actually stick to one. And my choice is this kind of magenta. All right, I think I'm going to use that. And when you, you kind of want to measure out how far, I'm actually going to help make this like a 3D on the front. So I would just have this 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 part of the of the card that says Happy Mother Day, so that I can do the three D coming up from the bottom, all right? And so I'm just gonna put Happy And you can do how, whatever font, you know, kind of, and that's just something simple, all right? So that will, that will be like your second step, all right? I hope you can see that. Now that you have your stems fixated the way that you prefer, the next step would be is to do the petals. And I'm going to show you how to do the petals and the leaf quickly, all right? And so now... I'm using a piece of the scrap that was left over, and I'm just going to do pretty much like a pointed oval shape to give that leaf. Okay, and they don't have to be so big. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut out a few of these leaves. In various sizes. Might want to add one more. Just one more. Okay. Snip that off. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And then for my center, oh, I'm loving that already. I'm going to use my yellow. And I'm just going to make a simple, simple circle. 
<clears throat> you can use a dime, a nickel, a penny as your base, but I'm kind of freehanding it right now. Okay, that's good for me. And I get my handy dandy scissors again. Okay. piece out. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can see it. And it doesn't, like I said, doesn't have to be so perfect. Okay. And so now I start to fixate it onto my card. All right. And so what I do is I tap some glue. Like this. Kind of go around like that. And then I'm going to put one little dot right here on my paper to fixate it there. All right. And not a lot of dots, just a little bit of dots. Okay. All right. All right, and the same way that I arranged it on the table there, I'm going to do it here. And remember, it's to your liking. And then I might not even need all of these. So it's just to your liking. And it's okay if flowers overlap. I mean, when you're out in the garden, flowers crisscross each other. Merge together, and then you kind of have like the peekaboo of the yellow in the back as a base, as a base color. All right, all right, and so that's my first flower, and then I'm gonna just put on my my leaves. Tap a little bit of glue again, just a dot or two, not a lot, and I think I'm, I'm going to cut this down, this is like really rather huge, so I'm just going to freehand and kind of make this leaf a little bit smaller, okay. And like I said, they don't have to be the same size. I'll put a little dot here. Hope you can see that. All right. And so I already have one flower. And now I'm just going to go back over this little center with a little piece of the yellow. Okay, just a little piece. Not a lot just to give it a little bit more of a center. Flowers always have like that little center part. And once again, a little dot. I'm just gonna drop that down on there. And voila, we already have our first flower on. And so as I um, go through the segment, I'm just kind of going to speed it up it's just so that we can show the full effect of the colors. All right. So keep watching. All right.
So I'm back and welcome again. I hope you're watching and watch all the way to the end. I'm so excited. This is what the front of the card looks like and now we're ready to do the inside. And you can personalize your card however you want. You can handwrite it in, but I love to do crafts. So here's my grass that I did and I pre-measured it so that it would fit right to the edge of the card. And now I make these cool little strokes of lines and I just cut them randomly. There are no, you know, just cut it randomly, you know, just cut it off. And then you can cut as long and deep as you want, short as you want. And then I kind of ruffle it a little bit because grass, you know, never stays straight up in the air. Okay, so I have my grass there and I can fix it up more as I glue it in. And now I'm going to take this little bit of glue here. I'm going to rub it around the edge. Hope you can see that. Like that. Kind of up there and just kind of zigzag make sure it's there. Okay, but I don't want to put too much because I have a little ad added addition surprise. And I know you're going to love it. Your mother's going to love it, especially if she's a special mother to you. Okay? And so, now the grass is inside. And I kind of pre-made these popsicle sticks with different sayings on them. And this one in particular says, rub mom's back for 30 minutes. Okay, she's gonna love this one. Um, oh, this is a cool one. She's gonna love this. No washing dishes. Ooh, she gets to keep her manicure. Yeah, she's gonna love that one. And this one too. No cooking today. No cooking today. Another favorite she's gonna love. Oh my gosh, she's really gonna love this, kids. Breakfast in bed. So I hope you know how to make her breakfast. You know, you can do cereal, orange juice, toast, those things. And you know, you don't have to use color sticks. I just happen to have it and I love it. It goes with my card. But you can also use the plain ones to write on as too. They're just as effective. And I'm just gonna make one more saying that mom's gonna love from you. And that is, no, Whining today. Just pure happiness. Because that's what mom wants on Mother's Day. Okay? So we're just going to stick them inside. You know, randomly. And she can pick out whatever one she like. Put those in like that. Let me just hurry up and kind of put those in. All right. So now that we have those in, all right, and I'm just going to write in here really quick. Pick out another color. What color should I pick out? What do you suggest? What do you feel? Let's see. What am I feeling? I think I'm feeling a little orangey. Okay. And I'm just going to write in here, the best mom in the world to the best mom in the world. Yes. Oh, she's going to love this. And voila. Oh, let me just add a little bit more glue to this. My grass is coming up. Okay. And so, look, 
your own oops, my popsicle sticks are trying to go all over the place here that that can happen but that's what you want to make sure that if that happens that you add a little bit more glue and get that secured down and you can add more things into it stickers you can add um, you can put hearts inside oh she'll love it you can draw more flowers you can put butterflies inside of it privatize it to however you like and this is our mother day card thank you for watching all the way to the end and to the top and the moon and back again and tap that like button if you love your mom subscribe and for more cool videos and hit that notification bell ding 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 to stay up to date to the last minute with craftions with miss m bye